Hey y'all, welcome back to Soul's Way. It's Ashley, so um, I kind of want to start off the vlog. Um, it's the weekend. I'm a blossom. I don't need a bottom line to my robbery. I'm official on a dotty. You can hit a room room in my robbery. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't mean it this far. I'm not sorry. Um, I, I don't even know what time it is. I think it might be like 2 o'clock or whatever. Um, my hair is frizzing up. I bought this new blow dryer and y'all, I love, I'm in love. The Revlon One Step. Baby, I love it. But it's so hot in here because I had the heat blasting. And so by the time I like got dressed, y'all see these roots puff right back up. But y'all, this blow dryer, I don't know why nobody didn't put me on. I see why it went viral. But you know I'm late to everything. This blow dryer is bomb. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day, and I think it's like almost like two something, maybe possibly three. I don't know. What time is it on your um? Does it say the time up there? Wait, go home. Mm, two five zero. Two fifty. So two five zero. Two fifty. So um, yeah. So it's two fifty. Um, we're gonna go head out now. So, yeah, you wanna say hi, Pooh? Come on. Welcome back! Give us a like and subscribe and click the bell button and. And what? Be careful. Oh, be careful out there? Mm -hmm. Okay. My baby said be careful out there, y'all. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put this here up. Alright, anyways. Um, what do I have on? Can you put what? The gum? Yeah, I think there's some gum in the car. Um, I don't have much on, um, just this woman's shirt. The trampoline's in the background. You know, I'm on life. Okay, so, this is my mirror. And of course, the piano's in, y'all, toys everywhere. You can't even see. Shooters. Can I help you? Nothing. Hey, y'all. <clears throat> so... Um, today is the weekend. Today is Saturday. We're really not, um, I have a few errands to run, a few things to do, and I just wanted to get out the house, um, and catch some sunlight. Um, uh, we just stopped by my mom's house. I have to, I had to pick something up and I'm going to have to drop it off to, um, my sister's house a little bit later on tonight. Um, but we're starving. I haven't eaten today, so we're um, here at Olive Garden, my daughter's favorite place. Mm. Why do you love Olive Garden so much? Because the pizza and the bread and the... And, and the what? What's your favorite soup? What's it called? Soup. Get down, girl. We can't see you. Get soup down. Soup in the What? Soup and I don't know. Soup of Toscana. Mm. Say it. The Soup of Toscana. Soup of Toscana. I don't want to say it. <laughs> Yeah, that's her favorite, the Supa Toscana. She loves the Supa Toscana. So, um, yeah, so we're about to go inside of Olive Garden. And the bread. And the bread. The Supa Toscana and the bread. And calamari. And calamari. Oh, oh, you want an appetizer? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hungry that I think we will get appetizers today. Yeah, the Supa Toscana. The only thing is, like, whenever I get an appetizer, I never eat my food. And since, I mean, um, I don't want to, it's not going to mess up in the car. It's actually really cold, so... If I take my food to go, oh no, yeah, you need to get your coat. And if I take it to go, um, you know, I'm gonna have to leave it in the car and we're gonna like, we need to run a few errands. We'll be out until tonight. So, um, I don't think it'll go bad. I think it'll be all right. But anyways, we're about to run in here and go in Olive Garden. Um, and then from there, I want to go, let me see. I think I, let Remember, me see what all we need to do. Works? Yeah, I want to go to Bath and Body Works because I'm out of hand soap. Um, and I mean, I know I don't have to get hand soap that's not Bath and Body Works, but I love their their hand soap. It smells good and it's just, I love it. You're relaxing. Yeah, I just like their hand soap. So I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works and um, get some hand soap. Oh, and yeah, I want to get some, um, hold on. Um, I don't know if I need to go to Walmart, but um, my grandma's sending a package off to Panama. I want to see if they had like some, if they had some stuff on sale, um, I would grab a few things to go in the box. Um... I need to get some more toothpaste. Yeah. Um, that's why I should have wrote everything down because I always forget. I need to get some more toothpaste. Oh, I gotta go to Ulta. Hmm? Okay. I gotta go to Ulta. First of all, oh, I have it right here. Let's see. Makeup. Y'all, I tried the blur. 
baby no oompa loompa okay and that's not what i have on my face today actually i think my makeup looks pretty good today yeah it do oh mm, you so sweet give me a kiss girl give me a kiss mm. koa still got her braids in mm. we're gonna take them out soon Dude. and no not today mm. she still got her knotless braids and they lasted a long time yeah. um yeah they still look good okay so but she, you know she wants to wear them down i asked her she wanted me to do a style but she said no anyways i'm rambling but back to why we got to go to Ulta. i tried the blur foundation um i got the deep bronze the 20 the deep bronze um the next professional makeup bear with me blur blurring tint foundation deep bronze number 20. um yeah i wanted to love this but um nah it's a no for me um it literally looks like a oompa loompa the undertone is so off and this is not what's on my skin my makeup looks cute today no the undertone to this is like orange i don't know and then of course they didn't have like they, first of all it doesn't have a lot of options and so they didn't have the one that um under it i think the 19 and i don't even so i don't i'm not sure anyways when i go back to alta i will look but mm, it rubbed me the wrong way not just because the under just i don't want it so i'm gonna send it back so it's a no for me i'm gonna take it back it's a no for me uh then these nails gotta get did so um the other day i went and got a pedicure i thought the nail shop closed at eight but it was actually seven and so they only had enough time to do my pedicure and not my nails and my nails look horrible they don't. yes they do so i need to get my nails done my feet look good but i need to get my nails done no i'm just gonna get just french tip i'm just gonna get a regular french tip like your toes yeah like my toes i got a french tip on my toes so yeah um so yeah that's um get some toothpaste get some hand soap possibly some other things from bath and body works um get my nails Candles. done uh, maybe and then um go to ulta and we're at Olive Garden. And then whatever else we feel like doing because I just wanted to get out too and just get some sunlight. Um, you know, it's been a little, it's been a little rough lately with all the stuff that's been going on with my daughter's school and stuff and, you know, all that. So, um, but yeah, we'll be okay. Um, we'll see you on Olive Garden. Toodles. We are finally in Olive Garden and that wait was so long, I'm so annoyed. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? I felt like we waited so long. Huh? We are both hangry. Very, very hangry. <laughs> What'd you got to say? Hmm? What'd you got to say? There was too much people crowded. Yeah, there was just too much going on. But anyways, we're on. Yeah, I'm okay. Cole got her super Toscana. It's good. Her breadsticks, y'all. This is bussing. It is bussing. <laughs> y'all hear me talking about the super discount is bussing. Hey y'all, Olive Garden finally secured and in the tummy. Really, um, we have dinner for later. I mean, it's 5, 10, so that is dinner. So we either have lunch for, um, well, yeah, that's what it's going to be. Lunch for tomorrow. Um, that's, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't like coming to Olive Garden. The only reason I ever, ever come to Olive Garden is because Koa loves Olive Garden. Don't be trying to hide in the back. A any chance you could get if you ask her, hey, what do you want to eat? She'll be like, Olive Garden? I'm like, um, I meant um, Chick-fil-A. Uh, <laughs> but no, she loves Olive Garden. And so, you know. So, yeah. Um, but the yeah, I don't know what was going on. I'm like, is it buy one, get one free? Y'all, it was so many people in there. First of all, we had to wait so long to be seated. And then it was so many people. Oh, she in the back. Cole in the back playing on her Switch. Her Nintendo Switch. 
um she's playing that sport the, the christmas uh, game that sport one you can play it as um as a one player in the car too which like, is pretty cool what? i mean like wherever you go but it can only be a one player um when you're like on the go not like attached to like the tv or something hey not so loud but yeah okay so um yeah it's looking like the nails are not gonna get done today Ooh, i'm ashy yeah let's go let's go here with it <laughs> looks like the nails are not gonna get done today it's 5 11 it's 5 12 now and this took so long and i still want to get to all the other places um i want to go to bath and body works i want to go to alta and um and i just don't feel like i, I don't feel, and, and i have my daughter i don't feel like being in there and these got to get soaked off because they already started lifting and i had just put like some glue um well the nail lady put some glue when i got my pedicure because they didn't have time to do my nails so she put some glue on them so it'll have to be like a whole set so they have to take these off and do a whole set i don't, I don't feel like that it's 5 12 it'll be like eight it, it'll be late by the time i leave so no i'm gonna go ahead and try to get everything else that i needed to get done and yeah so we'll just bring you guys along um i'm really full i I'm very, very full. I had um, the Super Toscana. I ordered calamari, which I, I probably ate like a few pieces and then I could not eat anymore. So when my food came, that was it. I didn't even want it. So I packed it up to go because I'm like stuffed. I got the seafood Alfredo. Um, Koa got pizza and broccoli. And so, um, yeah. So, and then of course she had two Super Toscana and some bread. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much it. We about to um, head to Alta next. See you there. Billy Eilish. I don't know. It smells good. How much is this? Okay, so we're leaving Alto. We're about to go to Bath and Body Works, but Bay Bay. Um, I completely forgot that Ulta sells fragrances. I don't know. I just never go like near the fragrances in Ulta. I don't know why. I, I, I just forgot. But today, that Billie Eilish, I should have got it. It smells so good. First of all, I didn't even know she had a perfume. But when I say that, it smells so good. It's like a gourmand. It's so good. It smells banging. Yes. It's like, even Koa, I think she's the one that saw it first. She was like, ooh. And then she sprayed. I said, wait a minute. And it smells so good, y'all. I feel like I should go back and get it. Yeah, because like the Billie Eilish thing, she's she smells so good. Like I don't know if she likes it's real or something, but she the perfume smells like vanilla. It definitely has some vanilla. It's a gourmand. It, let me turn this light off because I'm sorry. It's gonna get the lighting's about to get bad, but um, uh, it, it's you know it gets dark. I mean, and it's six o'clock, so. so um. But it was so good. It was so good. It is. It's like vanilla, a little bit of caramel. Um, and chocolate. I don't know. Almost like a praline or something. You know, it smells. It's, it's like a, a vanilla, a praline. Um, it's sweet, but it's not like a... It's not like a candy sweet, you know? I don't know. It, it's very... Uh, gourmand it, it smells like somebody want to just take a bite out you it smells so good um also i smelled because i everyone's been talking about that ariana um ariana grande's new perfume i didn't even really look at the name i don't remember off the top of my head i think it's like mod or something like that but anyways the pink one i did not like it's not it's not horrible but i didn't like it the one that's white smells very good the white one smells very good cool i like the pink one i didn't really like the pink one but the um the white one smells great. The white one smells real good. So, um, yeah. I, um, but out of, um, I don't know, out of that one, like if I, like to get, if I had to get like one fragrance, if I go back and get one fragrance, um, I think it will be Billie Eilish. Mm -hmm. I feel like that one stole the show. Anyways, I, the, you know, 
I don't know. I might go back tomorrow and get it, but the only reason I wasn't, I didn't for sure like just pull the trigger is because I'm about to order these perfumes. They're in my car. I literally just have to check out. But I was just considering like, mm, don't worry, it's coming soon. It'll be a Latafa, um, a Latafa haul. Cause baby, <laughs> those Middle Eastern fragrances, banging. But okay, um, let me get off this camera and get to my next destination. Toodles. Okay, so now we're going to Bath and Body Works. Um, and I'm telling you, I feel like we've been a lot of places but, and I'm tired. But um, we're about to go to Bath and Body Works. Hopefully we can find something or whatever. Come on, boo. Hi. Hi. Oh, it smells real good. Mm -hmm. Let me add. Yeah. Mm. And these right here. I want to show you this one. Which one? Those? Mm-hmm. Which one? I want to show you this can. This candle. Which one? That candle. Let me smell. Okay, so we just left Bath and Body Works. Um, I'll do like a little quick haul when we get back in the house of like all the things that we bought. But um, I'm not gonna be able to bring the, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys what I got to go, like that my grandma's packing away. It was only a few things. They didn't have, they, they didn't have any, the semi-annual, so then it wasn't still having it, so. This smells so good. It's called Clean Slate. I don't even know if you can see it. It's called Clean Slate. Y'all, this smells so good. Um, it's the Shea Butter Cleansing Bar. Um, for I think that goes with like for one of my uncles, and then we have like um my grandma already has like a a whole bunch of stuff, and she doesn't want to make the bag too heavy. And then there's more a whole bunch of things in here too. Um, and then after dark, the body lotion. After dark, the body lotion. Um. Okay, and then fresh water. Um, this is the the body spray from my uncle. Um, yeah, and then I'll just show you, um, what I got when I get home. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're about to head to my sister's house. I'm gonna call her first to see if, um, you gotta pee? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you hold it till we get to Titi's house? Yeah. Okay. And um, we're about to head to my sister's house so we can drop these things off, um, to my grandma and, um, and then head home. I'm tired. I was gonna try to go to Walmart, um, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I know there's a Target right here, but mm, I don't I'm know. About it, yeah, she said I'm thinking about it. I am. I'm not sure because I'm trying to figure out. Um, <laughs> that's the only yo. That's what I hate about when the time changes. Not only that my mood gets like, but that you, it just feels late. It's only 6:53. I mean, I guess it's getting there, but it feels extremely late. It feels way later than 6:53. I feel like it's like 10 o'clock. But um, I don't know. We'll see how I feel when I um leave my sister's house. All right. Um, see ya. All right, y'all. So we're back at the house. Um, we ended up going to my sister's house um to drop off my grandma's stuff so she could um, you know, send her stuff back, send all the things to Panama. Um, yeah. So I didn't do half the things I wanted to do today, but that's okay. I mean, I, the main thing, I just wanted to get out the house and like get some fresh air and stuff. So that's all right. We didn't make it to, what did we do? We went to my mom's house. We went to um, get something to eat, Bath and Body Works and Ulta. Um, I, I was thinking about going to um, Target or Walmart, but it was it was already getting dark and then I had to go to, um, to uh, my sister's house. So I just, scratch that so tomorrow we'll either go to walmart or target and get the rest of the things that i need and also we need to do groceries so um and tomorrow we're going to church so you know and it's getting late so i i'm tired i wanted to come home so i guess i'll show you guys the things that i bought i didn't even buy a lot of things but i'll show you the things that i bought yo that billy eilish perfume banging billy eilish got a perfume i don't even know what the name of it but it's like gold it's like the little woman it smells so good it's like a gourmand <sighs> it's so good so um i think i already said that but and like in the car but again i'm saying it because i could like even now like i've been to my sister's house i've been back home and uh, why is this light so bright mm -hmm. let's turn that down 
Okay, and it um it smells so good. My hair is done, y'all. My hair done frizzed up and frizzed out. Um, but that I'm still loving that brush because you know, like, and I kind of like this because it's like it's not a messy look, but kind of messy. I said I the next time I like do it, uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. The next time I wash my hair again, I'll do over. I'll um I will record it and um review that brush but i'm loving that revlon one step y'all i'm loving it this is just strictly blow dryer granted this is old like i did this um like a week you see it started freezing out um right here but it's still like you know i brush it in and, it, and it's cute because i like because it has like volume and mind you it's like almost 10 o'clock i think it is 10 o'clock it's like 10 o'clock at night but this is like from a week and i just wrap it at night um and then i really haven't had to apply much heat on it again um tomorrow before church i probably will have to because you see this this piece right here is getting puffy puffy but i like it because it gives you that blowout look so it's not that silky silky you know can y'all see it's not that silky silky is you know it's given volume now, now this is because this piece been behind my ear like that but and it's old so it's like an old it's been a while but anyways i love that brush the revlon one step oh ooh, ooh, tangly the revlon one step okay ulta i took back i told you i took back that blur foundation not a fan um no it's it's mm -mm. First of all, I got a lot of a lot of things going on with my skin under the makeup, and the makeup we'll get to that in a second. But um, not a fan. And I have seen some reviews that said that it's not for textured skin, and I feel like it's not for textured skin. Um, and not even that. Maybe I feel like it clinged on to any 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 like if you have any type of texture, I feel like it clinged on to it extra. And it was like oompa loompa. It was given oompa loompa, like it was orange, very orange. The undertone, it, the undertone was off. Maybe if I had. Maybe it would have had a better chance if it matched my skin, but even the way it clinged on to the the texture to, to, to like the texture of my skin, I'm not a fan. Okay, so the first thing I got, so I returned that, but the first thing I got was the um the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. Um it's like a liquid lipstick. I love these. Like I love these. I pretty much almost have all of them, except this was like um First of all, I've been looking for these. I didn't order it online, but I've been looking for like the darker colors. Like they, they they came out with like a new batch. I forgot what this batch is called. Let me see if it's on the bottom. It was not the ones that had already been out. It was like a different one. But okay, so it's um, Super Stay Vinyl Ink Mabel, from Maybelline. And I love these. I, I pretty much have all of them except those those ones, the last set that came out. And it had like the darker color. So I saw them and they were like in the middle of Ulta. Not like where they would have all the Maybelline, the other liquid inks, uh, the vinyl inks. So um, yeah, I saw them. I was like, oh, I'm getting them. So this one is extra. 130 extra. And it's pretty. I'll do a swatch. And you remember with these, you have to like shake them up. So you guys can see. I already shook it up so see that's pretty okay so that's 130 extra mm -hmm. I can't wait to wear it it's a pretty color okay I only bought three um because they didn't I mean the whole thing wasn't full they just had a few I love a dark lip um I I, I live for a dark lip not black we could play close to black, but I love a dark lip. So when I saw this one, I said, ooh. Okay, this one is 140 charged. And it's so pretty. It's like a chocolate, like a dark, dark chocolate, which I love. So let's see. I don't know about y'all, but when I go to Ulta, because people be you know you already know people be trying stuff out. If this right here, I just broke it. I just broke the seal. But if this is not secured. If this is, if it looks like this, you can see how, I ain't buying it. If it's not smooth, I ain't buying it. Because you know somebody already then opened it, tried it on, put it on their hand or whatever. Nope. Okay, so let's see. So this one's charged. All right, let's see what charge is looking like. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost looking, let me see. Ooh. That's pretty. I don't know if you can see it. 
I like that. That's gonna look nice. I love that. Cause I have like another matte lipstick that's not like kind of shiny like these. And then the last one is Fearless. This one looks similar to the one before, but it's a little bit lighter. So this one is Fearless. And this one is 135. 135 Fearless. Okay, so I'm gonna shake this one up. And I'll just swatch this beside this one. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna like that. Ew! Let's see. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, okay. So there we have it. Let me flip them over so y'all can see. Extra. Extra charged and fearless. Okay, so there we have it. Extra charged and fearless. And baby, I love them. Here they go. I, I can already tell I'm gonna love these. Okay, um, and then, oh, okay, so, ooh, something else I got from Ulta. So I'm gonna make a, another video, so I'm not gonna go into, like, too much detail about that. I'm gonna make a video about my skin or whatever, because I'm, like, I'm actually, um, documenting, like, my skin. Um, anyways, I went to the dermatologist. I have, like, um, it's, like, seborrheic dermatitis. I, I think I'm saying it right. It's, like, seborrheic dermatitis, whatever. It's kind of, like, it's, it's like, it's almost like how when people get dandruff on their head, but it's like in their skin. It's, 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 we'll get into it another time. But anyways, it's like a condition of the skin. It's not caused by makeup. It's not caused by anything like being overweight, eating, it, it, there, there's no cause for it. They don't know what causes it. I started having that after I had my daughter. And so, um, so I just been dealing with that, um, since I had my daughter, like seeing different dermatologists. Um, it goes away with like Eladel treatment or steroids or, um, in the summertime it's better. <laughs> So basically what happens is it, it ends up, I end up having hypopigmentation, not hyper, hypo. So it's like where some, where certain areas on my skin will get lighter than my skin color. Almost like, but not as bad. Like nowhere near like, um, vitiligo. It's not like vitiligo at all, but it is a lightening of the skin. Like certain areas of the skin, it gets lighter and like dry and like, but anyways, we're going to chat into the, and uh, in another video but the point is um i had just ordered these um like some skincare items for seborrheic that's how i'm gonna call it seborrheic dermatitis um online from amazon and they actually arrived today um two more things is coming tomorrow but um one of the things that's actually coming is they had it at alta for six dollars and why did amazon the one i bought because okay i was being impatient the one on amazon was like 24 dollars for it to come like the next day oh it's going back it's going right back. So it's anyway, it's from the ordinary. And I I mean I've used the ordinary before. I haven't used these specifically, but I used the ordinary before. Okay, so um when I was in Alta, I was like, wait, they have the ordinary? For, I, I don't know what I've been doing in Alta. I think I've just been going to the like going to the same section. So I didn't like walk around and stuff, but they had a whole bunch of stuff in there that I I guess I didn't I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But today I like was scroll like we were walking all up and through Alta. And they had the ordinary. I was like, oh, wait, ooh, they might, because I knew my package, part, like the majority of my package was going to be here tonight. So I was like, oh, I can't wait to wash my face. I can't use, wait to use my new stuff, blah, blah, blah. But the only, one of the things that was didn't come yet that would come tomorrow was the the serum from the ordinary. And they had it for $6. I bought it for $24. It's going back to Amazon. Okay, so it's this one. Um, it's the niacinamide 10% plus the zinc 1% high strength vitamins and mineral blemish formula. I don't know if you can see that. Can y'all see this? So yeah. So yeah, it's the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. So it's that. And then also um, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 and Hydration. It says a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. So the only one, this one I just bought because it was here. This one is the one that I actually ordered on Amazon that's coming tomorrow. So yeah, so I bought both of these. 
because that's good um, to help like um, with that's just good for your skin too but to help with seborrheic dermatitis okay so got that that's the only thing I really got from Ulta I wanted to get that Billie Eilish perfume but again I I'm gonna do another like once my other perfumes get here um, from Latafa a Middle Eastern house bye bye I can't wait but that Billie Eilish I think I might get that and then I just went to Bath and Body Works it, um, it was just a few things that um I think I already showed y'all I really I didn't they really didn't have no sale going on. Um, you know the um, SAS sale just passed, like the semi-annual, and I wish I would have known um, then uh, um, that my mom wanted to get some things to send to Panama, because then we could have um, we could have just got a whole bunch of stuff then. But my grandma has other things that she's gonna send to. I literally, but I literally went to Bath and Body Works just to get some soaps. That was all, um, just to get some hand. When I say soaps, hand soaps. Um, and there was no sale, there was no nothing. I had no coupon, I had no nothing. So it was five for 27. The huge, it was five for 27. Um, but they did have some cute, um, I, I'll insert a picture. I think in the vlog you guys would have seen it, but um, I'll show you the ones I ended up picking up. All right, so I did get Twilight Rose. First of all, ain't this packaging cute? I said, oh, this is so cute, I love it. Like all of them were like nudes. Um, just like this, this packaging was just, I was here for it. Okay. So this one is Twilight Rose. It smells good. It's the white barn one. It's um, Midnight Rose, Dewy Lemon, and Wild Peony. So this one is good. So I got this one. This is another one from like, I guess that collection or whatever, that same, the aesthetics, which is very cute. It has like the little grooves on it. Okay. So this one is Garden Basil and Lime. And again, it's from the white barn. Um, this one has fresh basil, zesty lime, and mandarin. It smells really good. I didn't think I would like this. Like, I actually wasn't even going to smell it. Because I was like, mm, basil. But it actually smells really good. Has like a clean smell to it. So. Okay. And then the last one from that collection. Um, I love mahogany. First of all, I love the mahogany coconut candle. Banging. Banging, banging, banging. I think I had like, I think, I don't know, like this season i mean this past season um i think i burned like maybe three i have like three and i and we burned them down so this one is mahogany coconut you know i didn't even have to smell mahogany coconut smells so good but i love the packaging so yeah mahogany coconut and that is creamy coconut mahogany woods and lavender so got that oh and then i always let my daughter pick one you know how i go i always let her pick one and it actually smells really good she picked out a good one um this one is pineapple mango and um i mean i like all the hand washes but i love the foaming we like the foaming so we always just get those um every once in a while we might get the other one but i just like the foaming i feel like the foaming lasts longer i don't know um okay this is what did i say pineapple mango um this one is fresh pineapple juice mango and vine ri ripened raspberries so one my daughter picked out smells good okay and then the last one is it was um this one this one is cute the the packaging on this one is cute too um it's not from that same collection it's white barn but it's like they had a lot that looked like this so you see how it's like clear with the ridges going like that which was really cute too um, so this one is lavender and vetiver. First of all, I love lavender and I love vetiver. So I already knew, but I smelled it and it smells so good. So yeah, this one is lavender and vetiver and this one is um, wild lavender, warm vetiver and um, creamy sandalwood. All, all three things I love. So this one smells real good too. So I'm gonna put one in the kitchen in the bathroom and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh no, I wanna show y'all, I might as well. I'm gonna just show you all the stuff just because why not? I'm not gonna go into deep detail, but I'm gonna just show you the stuff that I got from Amazon for my skin that I was telling y'all about. Since we're just here talking. Okay, um, oh. Well, first things first, I got these little puff pads. First of all, how cute are these? Everyone's been talking about these. And um, really, they're ideal anyways, because um, I have got like, you know, the, the beauty blender, that the smaller one that goes in a corner. But even that, I'm like, mm. so I thought these would be perfect. And they were, um, ooh, ooh, they feel good. So how many did I get? Does it say? 12, okay. So I got a pack of 12, these are 12, and I got the black and pink ones. I love black and I love pink, so 
um yeah the black and pink ones and this brand is blah room boy you know amazon blah room but when i say these feel good it's like suede almost Ooh. okay i ain't gonna lie these feel kind of these feel kind of luxe these feel expensive like velvet i don't know and it has a little thing so you can put your finger on them. Ooh, I, ooh, I can't wait to use these. You could bend them if you need. Ooh. You can use the back. Anyways, I, let me put the back one because I make them on. But anyways, I thought it was perfect for like, look at that, look at that. Ooh, dip that in that powder. Bam. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Oh yeah, that that was that was perfect. And look, you could probably, could, could it flip to the other way if you get one side dirty? Or am I doing too much? Ooh, that's what I was saying. I was like, look, can you flip to the other way if you get one side dirty? Like before you want to wash them out because of this? Or am I, yeah, I said, or am I doing too much? Oh, and I'm not doing too much. You can, look. So you can use both sides before you have to wash it. Y'all hear my stomach? Boy, on the corner, baby. Hit that, whoop. Hit that, whoop. <laughs> I'm a fool. Okay, uh, I'm glad I got these. These are nice, ooh. And they say they're washable. The baby, ooh. But I have um, 12, so I'm like, do I even need to wash these? I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, then I got these, another pink thing. Um, so, these are called they're from Gainwell. It's compressed facial sponges. It's 50 sponges. Um, natural cellulose fibers. Moisturizes the skin. Soft and absorbent. Um, it's a 50 count. They look small, but once you wet them, they expand. And you can use them to cleanse your face. But I also bought these because with the seborrheic dermatitis, you get a lot of, like, flakes. I hate to say flakes, but, like, um... Yeah, flakes. You get a lot of like flakes in certain areas. Like my problem, one problem area is like right here, like right here on my cheeks, above my eyebrow. You can kind of see a little bit right here. Um, anyways, but so you, you can exfoliate, and, and and I hate to say the word exfoliate because people might, but like softly, you know, even like with this type of sponge, because it's not hard. But I don't know if you can even see the grooves on it. My camera's like not focusing. Okay, can you see that? So, um, a lot of the, the reviews were saying that you could use this to, like, exfoliate softly, I guess. Um, you know, so we'll test it out. And if all else fails, we'll just use it to, like, softly wash our face. Okay, but for seborrheic dermatitis, I'm just showing y'all. Um, zinc is, works wonders for the skin. For seborrheic, um, for seborrheic, this is the word right here. So for seborrheic dermatitis, zinc is good. Again, I told y'all I went to like the dermatologist. So um, there was a few like over-the-counter things that he was telling me to try. Um, that just, you know, because it's a combination of thing and not what works for one person might not work for the, the next. You know, it's like case by case, you know. But typically zinc works well. And so um, Vanny Cream has a Z-Bar, but I don't know if it's like discontinued or what because I can't find it anywhere at all so this is the same thing as the i mean it's not vanny cream but it's the zinc bar and really that's what the vanny cream z bar is zinc it has the let me see how i say this pyrithion oop go me it's like pyrithion zinc it's two percent pyrithium zinc and this i got the two bars i think these two bars were 16 dollars um and that's to wash your face so i mean and i guess you you could use it in your hair but i mean this I'm just using it for my face because they have like other um, zinc shampoos for dandruff for your hair and I don't really have the I don't have it in my hair I have it on my face so yeah so this is the pyrithian zinc 2% and that's the only active like that's the only ingredient that's the only active ingredient and I guess that's why it's so expensive because like that's the, it's, it's pure so yeah people says this does wonders for their skin um, and people also with like eczema too um, okay so it um, uses controls and reduces the symptoms of um, dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis and you know it says ask the doctor before you use um, on large areas of the body so y'all well, 
upside down. Okay, so two of those bars. This is another cleanser that um, was recommended. Um, Manuku Honey. First of all, I know honey. A lot of people use honey for a lot of different things. But I never knew, I never heard of Manuku Honey. That's a new one for me. Manuku Honey. Um, but yeah, this one was recommended as well. as Manuku Honey Seberic Dermatitis Wash. It's paraben free, fragrance free, cruelty free, sulfate free, gentle organic formula. It promotes clean and healthy skin. Um, and it has all organic ingredients. Um, it's eight ounces. It's from P. What? I gotta sneeze, y'all. <coughs> y'all like that? I hit the dab. What? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> okay. Um, it's pH at. First of all, it's fat, but it's it's cute because it's like pH balance at five five. But so it's like fat. Um, fat five point five pH at 5.5 and it's eight fluid ounces um it's made in the USA and yeah like I said it's cruelty free let's see what it says in the back um pH at 5.5 or fat at 5.5 seborrheic dermatitis wash uses a combination of manuku honey excuse me aloe vera shihami shimi Y'all, now that I'm up here sounding like a fool reading these words, I don't even see how me. See how me? Y'all, what is this? Whatever. I think it's. See how me? See how me? And other org. Whatever. Manuku honey, aloe vera, shihami, shihami, and other organic ingredients to help soothe the itching, inflammation, and other irritating symptoms of seborrheic dermatitis, as well as promote the healing of damaged skin. Our organic ingredients removes the oils, dead skin, and harmful chemical buildup of other skin cleansers while simultaneously rejuvenating your skin. Dispense a small amount on your fingertips and massage over wet skin, then rinse. I'm excited because, um, yeah, this was highly recommended. And, and then I... Um, you know, I, I told you I went to the dermatologist, but also then I was looking up people, uh, looking this up and looking up like reviews and even on Amazon, if you, I, I, I ordered mine from Amazon, but if you go on Amazon and look at the reviews, people swear about this stuff. So I'm excited about this. So yeah, so that was that. I feel like this one was like 20 something dollars, but I don't care if it works. I don't, I don't care because that Elodel cream, baby. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I think, yeah, I think this was like $20. Um, or 20 something dollars, but I, I don't care because the other cream, the Elodel cream, the steroid, baby. They losing their mind. $200 for a little tube. Boy, what? what? And the thing about it is it's crazy because I, that cream is like, it works immediately because it's a steroid. So I'm also just trying to find like a, cause this is a chronic condition. Um, uh, ain't no need for me to pull out my nursing license and school y'all on what chronic means, but chronic is like here to stay, but I rebuke that in Jesus name my skin will be healed okay um yeah anyways but you it's like you have flares basically you, you'll have flares or whatever um okay and so now this is the same brand that Manuku honey brand the fat pH the fat 5.5 so this one is also from them the fat 5.5 and this one is the Manuku honey seborrheic dermatitis cream made the same thing made with organic ingredients paraben free cruelty free and sulfate free so that's that and I got the biggest one I know you're supposed to start small to see if it works but baby I have faith the reviews and what the doctor said and, and and just looking it up I got faith and even on um on even on YouTube it's some some it, some people um, recommend it like dermatologists recommend it is that how much did it work and that their skin change I have faith give me the biggest one um, give me the biggest one so this is the eight ounce one they have smaller ones but this is the eight ounce one i forgot how much this costs but mm, probably like 20 something too um yeah so oh, i'm excited and again i will be documenting that journey um i don't know i'm sensitive about that um just because like it, it whew, at one point i thought i had a like i'm like whoa what is happening but it's not it's not a like um but yeah that is all i got tomorrow oh tomorrow um the other what did i get 
oh that ordinary one that i'm gonna send in back but also there's another thing um that i ordered uh, it's another cream so i can alternate from this cream and then it's another cream for um for eczema for for acne prone skin eczema prone skin seborrheic dermatitis rosacea um problematic skin and the thing about it is there's really not a lot and i and maybe you know what i think i am gonna like open up and do that because there's really not a lot of information for like colored for for, for black people or, or or for colored skin because it's not just black people people that like other color tech other colored skin other than white people because honestly at one point mind you this has been happening since and not like continuously continuously because it happens when you get like flares um stressors and this and that and baby mama been stressed with the stuff recently oh baby the stuff with the with my daughter's school i don't know if in this vlog i will have already put that out because it's like rough but the whole america knows what happened um here in virginia and that hit so close to home y'all don't even know i mean like knocking on my door okay so i have been like i have been very very stressed <sighs> yeah so um other than that that's what oh what i, I went on a tangent but basically they don't really know what causes it, but they do know that stress can trigger a flare up, which I'm currently having um, because of the traumatic experiences that we have had. Um, yeah, so perfect time for me to start my new regimen. Um, I'm excited, I'm excited. Oh, also, um, I don't feel like going to get it, but the doctor prescribed me ketoconazole, um, which is like an antifungal, because on the skin we have like, uh, let me look up. It's like, it starts with an M. I had to look it up, but um everybody already has like fungus on their skin and it's not like a bad thing every everyone has it it's called the mycosis I, I forgot the name i don't know what i was thinking but it's called mycosis everyone has it on their skin but with with people with severe dermatitis what happens is your body the the okay it, it so it's tricky because you would think you have dry skin and, and which is crazy because all this time all these years right even after seeing the dermatologist because some people have been misdiagnosing me and the problem is there's not that many colored i hate to even say that colored but it's not that many people of color that are dermatologists that's um and sometimes I'm t you need to see somebody like you baby you need to see somebody that look like you because they can help you out the other people and i'm not saying they can't either but it's just i've had this, i've been dealing with this now for almost seven years six six years almost seven years and i no i still haven't found a regimen that completely besides the elodel cream that was like now i feel like i'm getting somewhere now i feel like i'm getting somewhere so um anyways everyone has my and, and no one really explained it to me like this past person did nope like you know i never felt like i felt this time I, I don't know i just feel good about it but um because like one time i was told i had like psoriasis it's just different things like people were telling me different things and it turned out it wasn't that um i was told i had rosacea which black people can get people of color can get rosacea but it wasn't it wasn't rosacea this time, like, it's been explained to me. So basically, with severe dermatitis, your skin, your natural skin is actually very oily. Like, your T-zone or just your, your, your skin is very oily. So what happens is everybody has mycosis, which, I mean, which mycosis, which is that fungus on your skin. But the way your body reacts to it is it, it thinks that the, it, it thinks the mycosis is like, oh, danger, danger. So your body goes into, um inflammation mode like trying to like kill the the mycosis so it goes into it, it's trying to like protect it protect your skin so it goes into inflammation which causes in darker skin people hypopigmentation and redness and um a lighter people fair people it turns red it, it turns more red um and it's because it's that it's that inflammation okay and then it causes the flaking and the the itchiness and 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 it's a mess but you but you the person because you, then you're waking up you're like what is, what is this oh my god what is happening this crust what so you think you need oil right you think or you think you need some type of super moisturizer so naturally you don't know no better you're like okay why is my skin so dry why am i flaking because you think your skin is dry because it looks dry so naturally you're gonna buy all these oily products or things that's like oh i need some um whatever like things with like um that's not you know whatever whatever um what is that thing i use and i used a lot of that baby i done bought like three i went through three bottles of those like natural oils and stuff that other everybody could be talking about and can use no you can't use it because that feeds the yeast 
and it's not the yeast, but the, but well, the the mycosis. So like, cause you're the it, it, it the oil is not it doesn't need oil. You need like a hydro like the um, Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost moisturizer. That's the type of the water based moisturizer is what you need. You don't need anything with any extra oil that's not like a natural oil. And when I say natural, I don't mean just any like um. We'll say that for another day. But anyways. So I was doing all the wrong things. Like I was, I thought I was treating it like, like, and even when I did the LDL, it would help, like, clear it up. But the other things I was using was actually adding to the flare ups, like, because it was oily products. It was products that had like, um, baby had like, um, ceramides, all the, all this other stuff to like emollients to, you know, those are, which is moisturizing, but you don't need extra you don't need that you need something clean that it will moisturize your face but not add extra oils even though i know it's horrible because your skin is dry we'll see i'm gonna document this whole i'm gonna document this whole process and we'll see how it goes okay anyways i don't know how this vlog ended up being a skincare uh video but yeah that's pretty much it um i'm tired and i know my daughter is too um we're about to um uh take a shower and get ready to go. That was not digging my nose. I was going like this. We're about to take a shower and get ready to go to bed. Um, I don't know. I think the other day I started talking to her on the car and then baby, it just got it just got crazy. Life be life, and but I guess I'll talk to y'all a little bit now. Um, yeah. So my daughter, um, school had the incident that's been all over the news, everybody knows. Um, and my daughter's in first grade. And um, y'all, it's been, it's been horrible. So just just keep us in your prayers. Just keep us in your prayers. Um, and me and my child and all the children really keep all of us in your prayers. The teacher in your prayers. Um, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been tough y'all. It's been tough. So hence my skin's which has been terrible, but I'm just, I have been trying to find like a private school to put my daughter in. And when I tell y'all, there's not one private school available around here or even in another city, in another, like just all those classes for that grade are full. It's a tough place. You feel like you're like, what? Like you feel like you can't me i felt like i can breathe i've been having like panic attacks which i never had before um not like this and um you know so it's, um we're just taking it one day at a time they're still not back in school um and luckily um i'm able to work from home um you know sometimes um i had went back to work um this will be the third no yeah this will be the third week that they're out of school I think yeah the third week the first week I was home with her um the second week um yeah this will be the third week the second week um I was home with her a few days like a few like maybe like a day or two days and then um and then this week I'm gonna I don't know it's looking like I might have to work from home this week maybe I think I might go to the office like two days um and then be home with her for the rest of the week but it's been tough. I don't know. I don't I don't really know where I left off in that video, but um yeah. Um It's been tough. That first day I went back to work, I had a panic attack. I thought I was good. Like I was like, "Oh, I'm okay. Like it's okay. Your daughter's safe." Cuz it's not that I was thinking that something was going to happen to her. I knew she was safe. Like I knew she was with my grandma like but that's what a panic attack you can't control it. All of a sudden, it was after it was like close to the same time that this whole thing happened last time I was at work so and I looked at the clock and all of a sudden I could feel my body I was like whoa, 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 whoa. I could feel that pit in my stomach when I say it's something that you never felt before something that you never ever want to feel something that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you it was the worst feeling in my the worst feeling I've ever had and when I was at work it came back like as soon as I looked at the clock and look I'm telling you and it was like close to that time my I was like, Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I was texting my sister. I was like, hey, I think, do I have PTSD? I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Do I have PTSD? I'm like, I know. I, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? My body, I couldn't breathe. It was like a lump in my throat. I couldn't breathe. My, it, ooh, it was like an agony feeling. And all of a sudden, the tears just start falling. Oh, I had to get up. 
walk out my office. Um, one of the other providers, um, one of the doctors was talking. I told you I'm a nurse, but one of the doctors was talking to me, uh, like, hey, take some deep breaths. It's a panic attack. And, you know, once it subsided, like, the, I was just crying. I was just crying. And so, and, um, so that concerned me the next day i was not in the going to the office but then when i was going back to the office i was scared because i'm like i don't want to have another like i don't want this to happen again because a panic attack is scary but what could be even scarier is thinking about having another one like not knowing if you're gonna have another one so that is like serious anxiety on top of anxiety so um baby i've been doing a lot of praying some fasting and god is good in the midst of it all god is good um so you know just holding on to his word and i know that he will he'll figure everything out he'll he'll he has got us covered so um yeah so just keep keep us in your prayers y'all it's, it's 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 been something it's something you never think that will hit your home like you know a, you know you see those things on school and it's sad when you see them and you think of like the uvaldi and all that you it's i mean i cried when i saw those things and you're like wow but you still, and, 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 and you know it's real, but you still are like, whew. You never think it's gonna hit your home, your door. Your, you, when it happens, it's horrifying. I, I, you, it, you cannot describe it. It's, uh, when I t it cannot be described. It's your worst nightmare. And even though, that's what I'm saying, like, even though I think I didn't have a chance to really think about it because everything was so fast and, and so many people, when I say it was like a whirlwind, I feel like, honestly, probably for like a whole week and some, because like, until like last week, I really haven't like been right. My daughter's in therapy. The therapy helps me. Um, I'm getting therapy. I'm going to sign up for therapy because I feel like I need, you know, I thought I was okay, but now I, the parents are going to need it too. Cause people don't think like, yeah, all the kids were safe and someone did get like the teacher got hurt. And it, I mean, it's so many levels to it. I don't want to go into great detail with this because whew, I can say a lot, but people don't think like the parents are going to need therapy too. The children, the parents, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. Like, and it's the the leading up the whole thing that was a that, that the whole thing when you when you hear active you know what active there's a there's an active something going on at some at your child's at your child's place of learning what do you think i don't that feeling if, imagine just hearing that in the midst you you just imagine just hearing that So, and that's what I mean. And the whole trying to get there, that, that all that, 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 that is some trauma. That is some trauma. And we're going to need your prayers. And, um, yeah, we just trucking through it, praying through it. Um, and, and I'm trying to be patient with my child. She's so clingy now. So clingy. She was already clingy. She is super clingy. She's not sleeping in her room, which you already know that was a battle, but it's like, she's so clingy. She won't do nothing by herself. Loud sounds no anything so yeah so we're, i mean she's getting better we're getting better we're getting better and it's just um it's just hard it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard and it's hard when you feel like your back's against the wall when you don't really know when they i can't I, like i can't really i can't homeschool i work and I, I i can't work from home permanently you know i have the option to work from home sometimes but not permanently so i can't just homeschool so if there's no private schools available this year so that maybe luckily the school year will be over soon but then that means until i mean unless something pops up then i have no choice you can't just pick and choose what school <laughs> so you just have to trust on the lord lean on to your lean not on your own understanding but in all ways trust the lord and boy has that been tested because what do you do in a situation like that what can you do you know i don't know 
but enough of that i still have faith there's one more um there's another there's uh, another private school that um that that um one of my mom's neighbors was talking to me about today and she gave me like a name and this and that um that's her church um um and i don't know if i called that one i feel like i did but i don't know the lord works so um this week i'm gonna call them and if it's god's will there's there will be a slot for my child because in my heart of hearts they, i don't know how i'm gonna let her go back in that building i don't know how friday i want to pick up the packets they I don't even want to get started on it. When I say I'm so done, I'm I'm done with it. Now, um, look, she's coming. I told you she can't she shoot. And it was just so sad. But anyways, here goes my little pumpkin. I told y'all, there's she's right beside me. I've been making this video trying to tell her to be quiet because baby, she she is constantly beside me now. But um, yeah. Girl, them braids is all in your face. I wouldn't have it no other way. My little pumpkin, my sunshine. Give me a kiss. And I'm telling you, ooh, as much as, as much as she get on my nerves sometimes, y'all. Y'all. It would have been the end of Toe's way. I mean it. If think, when I tell y'all, it would have been, uh-uh. Look at you. Look. It, but it would have been an end. Of, it, I don't even want to think of that because it would have been the end of Toll's way. Per, per, Toll's who? Yeah. But um, uh, uh. Anyways, y'all, we about to get ready for bed. Take a shower and get ready for bed. And I'm about to use my new product, y'all. I'm hype. Oh, before before I'll slip in a little video of uh one of the puffs, the facial puffs, so you can see how it expands. But, um, you know, God is still good. In the midst of it all, pause that. In the midst of it all, God is still good. Um, I thank God all of the children were safe. Um, I thank God that Ms. Warner is safe. Um, that she's okay. I know she's recovering and, and again, it's traumatic, it's horrible. But I'm saying, I'm glad she's alive. I I'm glad she's alive. And, um, you know, and that she, she, I'm glad she's alive. Like, whew, anyways. That's heavy. I'ma let it go. Um, we'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Um, we'll vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, we'll get ready for the week, and um, yeah, we're gonna go to church and we'll do the rest of the things that we need to do. What is that? The bag? But yeah. But anyways, y'all. I think I don't know how I'ma do it. This vlog might have a whole bunch of pieces because um, again, it's been a lot going on. 2023 started off with a with a serious woo. So we're gonna have to reset. And try this again. But all right, y'all. Good night. You gonna tell the people good night? Good night. Good night, y'all.